the Anambra State uh, Governor Professor Charles Chukwu Masoludo has just done something that uh, probably no governor in Anambra State has done before. Because this weekend, Professor Soludo brought in a retinue of foreign development partners, a lot of what we call white people, trooped into Anambra State in their numbers. Ambassadors, uh, international organization officials, representatives of various regions of the world, uh, international monetary organizations and the rest of them and they trooped into Anambra State. The, at the airport, it was uh, a sea of white people, if um, you prefer to use that language. And what did they come to Anambra State to do? He invited them, he brought them, he persuaded them to come to see how they can help with the development of Anambra State. This man said it, that he has the contacts, he knows those people that engineer and, I mean, germinate development, especially in developing countries and uh, areas like that, and that he will bring them and he will partner with them and he will do something. And I tell you honestly, if you see the number of these people that came, you will think it was like a trade fair in Anambra State. So you will be watching our videos. Look at them at the airport when they were coming in and when they were departing or whichever of it. So Salute is up to something and I think Anambra State will be uh, better for it. They really have got somebody that knows how to press the button, where to touch and to bring these people to come and do something. Um, just a gentle reminder to like this video, share it among all your contacts, give us a thumbs up, and then subscribe to our channel if you are coming across for the first time. So he was receiving the people he called development partners, and he assured them of uh, leverage on strategic partnership as part of his administration's governance model for the state. He analyzed the Anambra state and made the people understand that, I mean, the international community, federal government, foundations, and so on, some of the partners, he told them what Anambra State has that other states in Nigeria does not have. So um, he expressed knowledge of the fact that the community have contributed immensely to help make Nigeria work. And the governor said that part of Anambra State future lies in its past. How? What is the past of Anambra State? and expressing his government's resolve to build a livable and prosperous homeland. So that past of Anambra State, according to Soludo, is the major strength of the state. And he says it's the human resource capital. And he identified the state's weaknesses also and threats as the environment, erosion, pollution, insecurity, infrastructure decay, unplanned cities, Communities and markets, menace of water hyacinth, flooding, waste management, among others. If you look at the drawbacks or the disadvantages or the challenges, you will think they are insurmountable. But this is where he's trying to point these development partners to see what they can do. But there is one powerful advantage uh, of Anambra State, and that is in human resource capital. So the governor said that um, building on, he has five agenda pillars, what he calls the Soludo solution. The administration is taking steps to help respond to the new world, including digitization of IGR. This is very big English, but what it means is that, you know, those KK drivers, bus drivers, market men and women, those selling even uh, Ose, Yam, eh, and everything. They usually pay market rate and nobody knows where it goes. But now, uh, the Anambra State have started to take the details of, digital details of all these traders and everybody that need to pay tax in Anambra State. They capture your biometrics and they just use your phone or any, um, I mean, module available, just put a finger or transfer your money, bam, it goes straight into the government account. No more agents, no more middle men, no more middle women. So um, he wants to digitize that uh, IGR and wants uh, to do prudent and transparent fiscal management, creating ease of doing business 
and good climate. Let me read out the delegation so that you will see that this is not a joke. The delegation, the people that trooped into Anambra State Airport and into Anambra, despite the security worries, they didn't care. They came in. Soludo is up to his uh, act. He protected all of them. Included the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, that's uh, Mrs. Uh, or Madam Katriona Leang, Chief of the Affairs, German Embassy in Nigeria, Martin Huth, Ambassador Samuela Isopi of the European Union. Um, she is actually the head of the delegation. Others include Canadian High Commissioner to Nigeria, James Christopher, South African High Commissioner to Nigeria, Tami Mseleku. Resident Representative, International Monetary Fund, Mr. Are Arisen, U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria, Ambassador Mary Beth Leonard. Also in the delegation are the Resident and Humanitarian Coordinator of the United Nations, Mr. Matthias Schmale, Country Representative, UNAID, United Nations AIDS, I believe, Dr. Erasmus Mora, Resident Representative, UNDP, Mr. Mohamed Yeya and Chief Security Advisor UNDSS, Mr. Robert Marino Marinovich. Country Representative of the World Health Organization, Dr. Walter Kazadi Molumbo. Country Director, World Bank, Mr. Shubham Shaudhuri. French Ambassador to Nigeria, Ambassador Emanuela Blatman. Egyptian Ambassador to Nigeria, Ambassador Ehab Awad. Chief Church of Affairs, Embassy of Norway, M.S. Ingrid Schiokas, very difficult name, Program Manager and Senior Conflict Advisor, UNDP, William Tsuma, and Communication Associate, UNDP, Rejoice Emmanuel, and Partnership Analyst, UNDP, Eno Mfok Akinde. So, you can see that this is a massive retinue of diplomas and development uh, organization representatives and who done it so ludo brought all of them to an state so something will definitely happen when you bring like 20 of these people i mean expect at least maybe five to do something positive or you know so speak of the house of assembly in anambra state right honorable ucho Kafo. Members of Anambra Executive Council were also present at the presentation session. And Governor Soludo later led the delegation on a courtesy visit to the traditional ruler of Onesha, Igwe Nemeka Achebe, at Imobi in Onesha. So we say very big kudos um, to Soludo. He really has a plan and I think he's coming together now. He just spent three months in office and we believe and hope that this will yield good results for the good people of Anambra State. We will bring you updates on anything that comes out of this visit and any development. Before we finally draw the curtain on this one, we gently remind you to like us, give us a, thum a thumbs up, share this content, and subscribe to our channel. See you in our next update.